Spicy food. I would say that all my friends who help me to tap out like fishbowl noodles, right? They will know to never add chili. Mm. Chili spoils the taste. I prefer it like with like the original taste itself. I hate it when you have a fish soup and then you have to add like chili party in and then you suffer, you have to like <sighs> sweat. Maybe once in a while, like I do opt for like tom yam soup, but it doesn't come with me completely enjoying it. It comes with me crying, I'm um, sniffing, and then going like <laughs> <laughs> Half the time. And Same. Like for me, right, all my friends know that whenever the food has spicy like or chili, right, they'll take it from me because they know I wouldn't Ooh, touch it. Ooh, that's me. Oh, yeah. The samyang Sam noodles. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, I had that. I don't know whether I can find that video of me fainting. I huh? swear, I fainted in my friend's house. It's just like, wake up, wake up. Oh, on the sofa. It's like, the whole is spinning. I just said that oh again and again. I'll get lightheaded. I'll get very lightheaded when I take yeah, uh, I don't spicy know why. food. Yeah. There was one ebook challenge. John had to choose my meals. He made me order mala te la. Huh? Mala te la. Te is like, it's the highest. The highest. One. Yeah. The highest. Yeah. Dude, it was so bad. I can't remember what's the spiciest thing, but I find like, you know, McDonald's spicy nuggets quite spicy already. Oh, yeah. For this episode of 72 Hours Challenge, you non spicy eaters will be eating only spicy food. How I feel about this? Oh, I have a guest here. Do you wanna come up? Do you wanna see her and talk with me? Uah! I am actually craving for Subway for like quite some time already, so I'm just gonna order Subway. Okay, so it says here that Chipotle Southwest has a spice, but overall it's very mild. So I guess that's what I'm gonna order. My lunch is here and it's Subway. I don't know how I feel because I'm very very scared that it's gonna be very spicy. So I actually ordered. Um, Dasini drink <laughs> that comes with the meal. I drink a lot of water in general, like on a daily basis, and I'm very happy that they gave me like cold water. It's not very spicy, it's like a sweet sauce, but with a bit of spice. So, for today's first meal, I've decided to eat carrot cake. So, when I was ordering um, carrot cake just now and I asked the auntie to put chili out. I felt like a whole different person. I was like, who am I? It's tolerable. You know, if you just keep eating fast. Don't stop. <clears throat> a little update. I'm not crying. I'm not sweating buckets. The only discomfort I feel is like in my lips. Like it's starting to burn. starting to get dry. And my throat is starting to get itchy. Today for lunch, we got um, stuffed and I put a lot of habanero sauce on it. It looks very little but it's a lot and it's gonna be a bit spicy so let's see how it goes. <laughs> I don't think I'll survive this challenge to be very honest. Okay, so I'm like mostly done with my meal. It's very very spicy and I, I forgot to get a drink so it's burning inside. Surprisingly, I'm not crying so that's a good thing. I only have coke at home. So let's hope it lands on the carbonated drinks. Please 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 Oh wait, it tried. Yes! I got my coke. And yes, it's the zero sugar added coke. I kind of drink coke almost every other day. But the fact that this has no sugar makes me feel better about myself. This is dinner. And when I order Thai right, I usually don't have any chili at all. But today I just spent the only chili that the shop had. Okay, so it's time for dinner and I actually ordered Ta-da! 
wok hay and this time around I actually ordered like 8 fried rice with chicken and I kind of got the premium brown rice and I added here more chilli look <gasps> the moment I open right the chilli just starts kicking in like the smell so I'm gonna try this mm. did I not take enough? I can oh, oh, no. oh shit oh shit Oh shit. But it's not bad. Like the chili is super flavorful but it's just spicy. I can feel that my tongue is burning. Oh my god. It's been a few hours after lunch and honestly my stomach's fine. Like it's not in pain or in any discomfort. So I decided to take it up a notch and ordered the green dot Taiwanese spicy paste noodles. And to accompany that, I managed to spin the wheel and I got orange juice. So yes. So fun fact, because these are all healthier choice items, I got QR codes. So with these QR codes, I get to use my Healthy365 app and then scan them, earn points and redeem prizes. So there is an upside to all this suffering and pain. I think my body deciding whether or not this is enough to kill me. It's actually not bad. It's very tasty. I wonder how long I can go without drinking something. One sip. So remember how I said my stomach is fine? <laughs> it's not anymore. So yeah, it's so full of gas and I keep like farting and I keep Thing. So I'm still very full from lunch. So for today's um, dinner, I decided <laughs> to just eat a boiled egg. Me being the Indian I am, I put chili powder. <coughs> oh, spicy. But it tastes good. It's like the tip of my tongue. It's like burning. Today is the day that I will not spin the wheel. Instead, I have my trusty water. I'm in fair price now. I'm gonna get myself a drink. Now this here is coconut water and I actually didn't know that fair price had a house brand for coconut water. So this also has the healthier choice logo because there's no sugar added. And with that, I have one QR code to scan. Mm. Even though there's no added sugar, right? There's already a natural sweetness to coconut juice. But it's completely not overwhelming at all. Hi guys, it's a new dawn. It's a new day. It's a new life. And, and I'm feeling, feeling good. Should have done this off Soy milk because I spun the wheel. So that's why I decided to get Mr. Bean. Okay, so I got spicy minced chicken porridge with the classic soy milk. And because these are again healthier options, I got a QR code, QR code, QR code. I think this should be fine, right? I think it's just chicken things. Is this even spicy? <coughs> I feel it. Finally lunch time for me and I'm going to cook myself a very simple meal of chicken fillet and a simple salad. The keys to making healthy salads is that you avoid adding excessive condiments like salad sauce. If you avoid adding all these seasonings, it actually reduces the amount of sugar intake in your meal. I feel like whenever I add too much sugar into my foods, right? It takes away the real flavor that I want to capture. I have a special ingredient that is this little little thing over here that I just picked up from the supermarket. Alright, so this is my lunch. Oh my god, it's burning. There's a lot of spice in one little thing. Can you see the sweat? Oh my god, this used to be my favorite. It's green dot actually. Oh. Smell something here. 
Filipino a Taiwanese spicy dry handmade noodles I think I'm just going to try this because it probably tastes a bit like jajangmyeon which is like my favourite my food is finally here look at this oh my god I don't know why but it smells really spicy it is a bit spicy but bearable I feel like yesterday's um, dinner was spicier but it, okay, it, it kicks in a bit later and my so just spin the wheel that the producers gave so that I will know what to order <laughs> oh my god I swear I was like hoping I get soy drink because I love soy drink and, and like I love the Vita soy especially look at this I actually bought two of the Vita soy and it gave me the QR code oh my god it means I can scan and claim like my rewards it's actually quite fun because I'm quite like auntie so I like this kind of thing okay, for today's lunch we got grilled chicken and some salad from um, Collins today and because I couldn't find anything to make it like spicy spicy I decided to just like add chili sauce <laughs> well obviously in moderation because you know as you can see it's a very small amount of chili sauce I show you I'm very weak <laughs> The chili sauce is spicy for me Maybe later I'll go find a drink And see how it goes So let's spin this and see It's spinning What? What the? Hola. I got risotto So I always eat it without the chili, without the spice So um, I'm excited I'm starting to think that I can take spice. Who am I? <laughs> I feel pain, but it's not killing me. I actually kind of enjoy this. Huh? <coughs> oh, sorry. <coughs> <coughs> okay, so I just spin the wheel again and I got carbonated drinks. So, I'm gonna go and grab myself a can of coke. Recently, I decided to also like cut down a lot of my sugar because I have a sweet tooth. And then I realized that consuming a lot of sugar, right, happens to be a lot of empty calories, which just ultimately becomes stored fat. And that's my story behind why I chose to drink Coke Zero recently. It looks good, but guys, <laughs> there's a lot of chili. Mmm, oh, this is good. Oh, mm. oh. <coughs> mm. Okay, but very short, eh? The chili, like, very short. So, just now when I went to get my Coke Zero from the NTUC, I realized that there was this, like, QR code. You can actually scan it on, like, the Healthy365 app. And you can scan it to get some points because it's part of the Eat Drink Shop Healthy Challenge. I'm going to cook myself a simple meal. I have two chili dishes. This is Kang Kong. I fried it with chili padi. And then this one is tofu and some chicken breast fillets. Then this is just miswa. If you hear noises, let's join. Oh my god, it's really spicy. I did not think this through at all. I thought after a few days of eating chili, this would be okay, right? So I put the whole chili buddy in my mouth. But wow, it's a burn. Even though it hurts, right? I'm gonna regret saying this, but it, it does make me feel a bit refreshed. Like it awakens me a bit. I'm like breathing fire right now. Okay. I'm really sweating so much. This is actually aloo olio. Tada! Vita soy! It's so good. My friends or some of my like followers will know that I'm always posting about sweet stuff because I have a sweet tooth. So yeah. And it's very true like coming from someone who drinks a lot of like sweet stuff. It's true that once you start right, you crave even more. So sometimes I try to find like alternatives like that. Just a bit of spice in it. I'm damn scared. 
to eat this. You know what? Let me try eating this. Look at this. I feel that like I can understand why people add chili because it really adds a lot of flavor into the food. It's damn spicy. I think I added too much. Oh my god. I got egg fried rice with seasoned prawns with broccoli and chili from Wokhe. And I managed to get a QR code. I swear, this gets me so excited. But yeah. Okay, I'm going for the big bite now. Chili common bite. The common thing with the chili that I've eaten so far is that it, it burns here, not on my tongue. I got broccoli too, by the way. Why am I not feeling the pain? Like it's red, right? No, I should stop talking because I realize the pain is coming now. It's breakfast time and I've got my wholemeal bread. I've got some jam. It's one of my favourites because there's no added sugar. But unfortunately, I have to ruin my breakfast by adding Tobasco sauce. Spicy jam with wholemeal bread. This is hot. Hurry, eat some more. Of course, the one time that I decide to film myself making toast, I don't only burn the toast. I burned the baking paper and it catches on fire. Everything that could go wrong today has probably already happened. Even if it hurts, nothing hurts more than knowing that I burnt my baking paper. Alright, so I'm gonna have my lunch now and this is my misoto. I'm just gonna try the misoto first and see how it goes. It's not spicy. Yeah, it's like... It looks darker now. Now it has the kick inside. Compared to my past few like food, right? This is the one that I don't understand why must add chili. Because I feel that the original taste is so much nicer. But it's still bearable. Should I add more? Yeah. My sister just did this to me. To get top of my face, I look a little bit defeated. Cause I woke up today and I was so sick. I felt so nauseous, so bloated. And I realized that I've been consuming so much of chili and like outside food. So it's been making with my body because I'm someone who usually eats like home cooked food as much as I can. But um, for lunch today, I'm actually going to be having egg curry. My mom cooked it because I told her like I can't do this anymore. Please help me with this challenge. So, it tastes so good. Yeah. But it's so spicy. I want my yogurt. But it's okay. I will do this. At the Hawker Centre for lunch and I found some wonton mee. I like to order wonton mee pie, which means wonton mee with no added chilli, no added sauces and it's really just the noodles, vegetables and the meat. But because of this chilli challenge, I'm going to add chilli to my noodles for the first time ever. It's not bad. It's not as spicy as I thought it would be. I actually added green chilli also. Green chilli is um, it's more sour than spicy la. So it's not so bad. What a joke. The kopitiam is closed. Only opens in December but I need my lunch now. Life is making a joke out of me today. Um, but you know what? It's okay. Tough times don't last. Tough people do. I got mi siam from TT and because it's a healthier option, vermicelli noodles, I got QR code and I also got liho, yay! So I got the roasted oolong tea with 30% sugar. I read that um, sugar should only take up 10% um, of our daily intake. So that's equivalent to 10 teaspoons of sugar. Not bad. Mmm. It's nice. I feel like the past three days or two and a half days have been like some sort of spicy food boot camp. Like a training workshop to get me to increase my spice tolerance. And boy, it has. I had decided to go for a fried carrot cake that is white. Let me show y'all. I told the auntie. Please add more chili. Look at my carrot cake here. Not spicy though. Okay, so my sister took chili. 
It's like sweet and spicy. It's, it's not bad. It's, it's quite nice. Look guys, I'm adding the chili inside wow. the carrot cake. So this is our drink. Get this. I'm going to prep some dinner for myself. Garlic in. This is my spicy kangkong. You can see the chili paddy everywhere here. I took away the seeds lah, but I think it's still going to be spicy. For the ratio of kangkong to chili, right? <laughs> it's not very spicy. <laughs> So I can still taste a bit of spice right but it's not as spicy as the salad from yesterday. I'm going to try and eat the chili like this with my kang kong. Ooh, you have pita soy and this is... Ooh, this is the, oh, this is the original pita soy. Don't know whether it actually helps to ease spiciness but... I will take whatever top. It's the last meal of the challenge. I got stuff, a beef kebab. The reason why I got this was because I've actually tried it before and I found it too spicy and I couldn't finish it. So if I'm able to finish this, you know, then I've completed my character development story. Um, honestly, I don't think I'll make it because I added habanero sauce. I'm scared. You know what? I'm gonna eat it fast to try to speed up this torturing process. I can do this. I can do this. See, so yeah, the last one, huh? Last one, huh? We are the champions, my friends. What I've learned is to not shy away from food just because it has that chili signature on it. I mean, maybe like once a month. <laughs> so I spin the wheel and I got bubble tea today. So I'm excited. I'm gonna go try out this um, new tea series at Liho. So let's go and grab it. Um, so this one, this drink that I'm having is called the Orange Peel White Tea. Which is part of their Blooming Blue Tea series, I think. Ooh. I like this. Alright, so it's my final meal for the challenge. I decided to get myself McDonald's. So I got the filet food. So I decided I'm gonna add something that I've never added into my food chili sauce. Not so bad. Oh, it's hitting me now. And this is not even the spiciest chili. It's just I don't like chili, but it's okay. Um, it's my final meal, so I'm just gonna be like, hello, blue year. I'm not this anymore. So congrats on completing the challenge. Yeah, we're done. Yes. I will never, <laughs> never do this again. I don't hate spicy mm. food. Like I do have it once in a while. But having it for like three days consecutively, right? Yeah. My gut cried. You know, last night I was going to sleep already, right? Then my stomach was so painful. Then I went to the toilet and had a good time. I did feel that my spicy tolerance in increased, though. Mm. Yeah. I felt it. It was a, like a spicy food boot camp or some sort of thing. Oh yeah. yeah. But at the end of day three, right, I could actually tolerate a bit of spice. Yeah. Same. Now I feel like I can go for. Maybe Whoa. Whoa. Maybe, maybe. I'm not too sure. Okay, Whoa. I haven't tried. I cannot, I cannot. I cannot go higher than that. I cannot go higher. I'm scared but I think I can. I was telling Maverick lah. Uh, tolerance has increased. Enjoyment hasn't. Whoa. <laughs> so, yeah. I don't think I will voluntarily choose to add chilli to my food. But, if there's chilli in my food right, and there's nothing else, I'll just eat it anyway. Some food actually tastes better with the spice. Ooh, like I've never oh. eaten chicken rice with chili or nasi lemak with like the sambal. So I feel like I'm gonna try now. You know, I really was so ready to like raise the white flag. I feel like okay, okay, <laughs> let's go for it. So I felt like wow, I really keep up the challenge. I'm very proud of myself. You know, it's like sense of accomplishment. That's right. Do we have a prize though? Yeah. Since no one cheated, you will be awarded with 
Sampai juli Yeay Oh, what the heck? I'm sorry Mmm Kind of Kind of No sugar added You have allowed this during the challenge Yeah Maverick Like once, just once You could just add chili We would like to thank HBB for making this video possible Choose healthier choice drinks or desserts lower in sugar to win exciting prizes such as an iPhone 13 or even a staycation. Mm -hmm. All you gotta do is download the Healthy365 app and join the Eat, Drink, Shop Healthy Challenge. Buy food, drinks or groceries with the healthiest choice symbol to get a QR code and then scan to win prizes and also to earn health points. For more information, check the link below. Thank you for watching this episode of 72 Hours Challenge. If you liked this video, check out all our other videos right over there. And of course, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye! Bye! Bye. <laughs>